there. And I sold this for $62 and the buyer paid shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about my big money Bolos items that I sold for more than $35 on eBay. I picked these items up cheap at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, different places, and I flip them for a profit, the Goodwill bins. But we're gonna talk about where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for right now. So let's get started with the first big money Bolo. And again, all these items sold on eBay. I do sell on Poshmark and Mercari and whatnot. I do have referral links for all of those. If you guys want to follow me over there or join with those referral links, you'll get money to shop. So check those out down in the description. This is a vintage snowman fiber optic ball Christmas favorite things original box. And I picked this up at the Goodwill. I paid um, $7 for it. And the buyer offered me 75 and I went ahead and took it. It did have some condition issues, but it was in working order as seen. And I sold, so $75, the buyer was all in for $100.49 with tax and shipping. The next item is this vintage fur clip signed, uh, Des Pat pinned Men from Mars, Martha Sleeper, read more. Okay. So there's more information in the description, but I also did a YouTube video about this specific fur clip. Um, Martha Sleeper is a, I guess, um, I don't know if I'd call her a brand or a designer, um, but follow up on that video. Type in, um, I think the title says Sleeper. So type in Bolo Buddies Sleeper into the YouTube search and look for this video because there is so much to this. And this was such an unknown Bolo. And I had so many people reach out to me and thank me for this video because they also had no idea. So if you can find her stuff that is unsigned, it can sell for big money. I ended up taking a best offer of $235 on this and the buyer paid shipping. There was a way that I found out this was a Martha sleeper and I talk about that in that video as well. So check out that for more details. This is a Christopher Radko wedding cake glass ornament collectible. And this was gifted to me in a buddy mail uh, from uh, Mindful Recycle. And she did have a YouTube channel where she was sharing all of her amazing bolos. And you guys, even if um, she doesn't have any new content, check out her older content, because I'm going to tell you, if there is a YouTuber that you can learn from, this woman is amazing. Her YouTube videos are her what solds. Wow. She's fantastic. But anyway, she sent me a gift and I unboxed it on the channel. You guys can check it out. Um, from time to time, people will send me boxes as gifts and I'll do an unboxing sometimes and sometimes I don't. It just really depends. But this one I did an unboxing on and this was one of the items in the box. It's a Christopher Radko ornament. If you don't know about Christopher Radko, it is definitely a bolo. I ended up taking a best offer of $60 on this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is actually something my husband picked up and I think he got it either at, I want to say probably an estate sale and I don't know what he paid for it, but it probably uh, was a good deal, probably $5 or less. And look at these amazing photos. So this is an 1940 Hungarian calendar book featuring photography of Hungarian life. And I sold this for $75 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Wiz Kids Hero Clicks toy figures. I purchased a Dibble box. It was a Dibble toy box from Donatella Bottolino on her YouTube channel back when she used to do Dibble boxes. Uh, she is now selling on Whatnot, so check her out on Whatnot as well. Um, again, that referral link is down below. You can get $15 to shop if you join with my Whatnot link. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. Would love for you guys to come to a show. But um, Anyway, back to the Bolo. Uh, these, there's 75 of them here. So that is what, sometimes it's the volume, the amount of items that are in the listing that help you sell it. Could I have parted this out and made more money? 
Yes. Would a lot of these have been bread and butter? Probably. I don't know. I did not look them all up. There could be a nice one in here that sells for big bucks. I don't know. This is one of those things that you're going to have to spend the time with Google Lens. And I just did not have the time. So I bulked them up as one order. Um, $97.50 plus the buyer paid shipping. And this was purchased from a viewer and she sells on eBay as well. So I don't know if she's going to part these out or not. And she's Pinky's secondhand store on eBay. So I appreciate your purchase. Thank you so much. And so you might find these in her store. I have no idea what she's going to do with them. I think she also has a shop that she sells things um, storefront from. So maybe she's going to put them there. I have no idea. But $97.50 plus shipping on those. So thank you so much for your purchase if you're watching. Uh, Joan Rivers. This is a Joan Rivers signed gold tone panther head hinged bangle bracelet. And this is what it looks like. And I decided to put this one on eBay because it was easy to identify, easy to find comps on and easy to list. So I ended up taking a best offer of $65 on this one and the buyer paid shipping. If you guys don't know, Joan Rivers can be really good money. Um, I should do a video on Joan Rivers. Uh, some of her stuff is just high dollar. But yeah, do a, do a search on her. Definitely someone to look for. The next item I sold is this fabric, and this came from an estate sale. I bought loads and loads of fabric. Now, I am not a I want to list fabric person. I don't want to part this out. I definitely could have made more money parting it out. You know, quite frankly, I probably could have sold this on whatnot, but I don't want to measure each individual piece. I just sold it all as a crafter's lot. It was 11 pounds. I took a best offer of $38.45 and the buyer paid shipping. And I do have other crafters um, material. I don't even know what remnants <laughs> lots available in my eBay store. So if you guys are looking for fabric, uh, check it out. Uh, the next item, this is a vintage doll marked midge Barbie Mattel red hair freckles hair cut TLC. So she has had a haircut as you can see here. So she's not in great condition and you can see her hiney has the little midge mark on it. So this one came out of another box from Donatella Bottolino. This was a box that was a gift to me from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. We were in the chat. There's a whole story behind it, but it was a hot mess box. And I did an unboxing. And if you guys watch the video, it is so funny. You should see the items in this box. And Donatella often gets items from storage units, so she doesn't know what she's bringing sometimes. And she was going through this and I'm like, oh my goodness. So I bid on it and I'm like, I can sell this stuff, but I stopped bidding. Well, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle kept bidding and she gifted it to me. So I did an unboxing. It's awesome. You got to check it out. It's on the channel. And I've just been selling the dolls from it. And it just goes to show that damaged items do sell. And I have made a great profit on that box. Um, yes, I got it free, but even if I would base it on what Farm Girl Scavenger Noel paid for it, I'm still making a nice profit on damaged dolls. So it's just incredible. Uh, $35 this one sold for and the buyer paid shipping. And Farm Girl Scavenger is, it's Farm Girl Scavenger Noel on YouTube, but it's Farm Girl Scavenger on Whatnot and Donatella on Whatnot. So you guys check them out over there. They are great, great friends and they have awesome stuff and I'd love for you guys to go and follow them. All right. This one here is a pin. It's a vintage order of the Eastern Star Past Matron 10K top pin chain 87 pin C photo. <laughs> All of that. And there it is. Um, this one sold for $81.84 plus shipping and it sold pretty quickly. And you can see here it's signed. Um, and it's signed here. So I just made sure that I put exactly what it said, 10K dash top. And I put my measurements in there and I did search solds on this. So I did find some comparables. I, if I remember correctly, I didn't find the same date, but I found the same item. So that's kind of where I got my pricing uh, strategy from uh, eBay solds. The next item is this comma. Komatsu, 
<laughs> Bulldozer keychain, new old stock collectible. And it's in the original packaging. It's got like a tractor thing, a bulldozer on it. So I'm like, somebody's going to want this. And they did. And they bought it for $40 plus shipping. And I got this at the Goodwill Benz. And I have a video that talked, another video that you may have seen where I talked about this one. This is a Daisy Kingdom um, outfit. I got this at a garage sale for four bucks. I did pay up a little bit for it because it is Daisy Kingdom and it's new old stock. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $35 and the buyer paid shipping. So anything Daisy Kingdom, a lot of fabric does well, patterns, different things. If you see Daisy Kingdom, look it up. A lot of times it's a bolo. This is a vintage Regency um, necklace and I could not find any comps on it. And I thought it was beautiful. I'd never heard of the brand. So I just kind of did a search on it just because I'm always trying to learn. And since I was doing the research on it, I thought I would just put this one on eBay and it sold for $130 and the buyer paid shipping on that one. And it is just absolutely beautiful. This one is a vintage 2000 Chuck E. Cheese Millennium Time Capsule Souvenir Prize. This is a cheap plastic toy, guys. Cheap cheap, cheap. When I say cheap, I mean just cheap. And what sold it? It's Chuck E. Cheese. If you guys don't know, Chuck E. Cheese items can be a big money bolo. Look them up. If you see them, I got this at a garage sale for 25 cents, sold it for 45 and the buyer paid shipping. I got two of these the same day for a quarter each and they both sold for over 40. Would you have expected it or would you have walked past it? And I know you guys have seen this one before because this is the second one I've sold. All right. This is a vintage quilt top. I got this at an estate sale and I took a best offer of $100 on this and the buyer paid shipping. I did have it priced high and uh, I didn't have a lot in it. So I just went ahead and took the hundred bucks. It is just the quilt top. All right. Just the quilt top. But I thought it was really, really beautiful and made a really nice profit on that. So you can sell quilts that are incomplete. If you type in Bolo Buddies quilt, um, I believe I've got a couple category videos on quilts. This one here is a bunny and it's holding a little uh, lamb, I believe. And this is great for Easter and it free stands as seen. And I got this from a friend of mine. She gave me a bag of her childhood memories. And I have a video of me unbagging that. And this was one of the items in there. And I sold this for $62 and the buyer paid shipping. So I don't believe I could find any comps on this. So I just priced it high and took a best offer on that. No, I'm sorry. That was my sale price. It sold for my sale price. So don't be afraid to list items high if you can't find any comps, because a lot of times those items are harder to find and people will pay more for them. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out the description of the video for different things I use for my business. Those are my referral and affiliate links. And I appreciate it when you use those. Those help me out and you usually get an incentive also. So check them out down below. Thanks for watching.